Hey, this is Jason Fouts with Slack Tech, and in this video segment, we're going to start talking about connectors and how they re relate to slackline systems. So within, within slacklining, whether it's longlining, highlining, or even your basic um, slackline systems, we deal with a number of connectors, whether that's shackles, quick links, or carabiners. Within all these different components, they all come with different load ratings. And, what's and it's really important for us as slackliners to really understand what all these ratings mean and how they're applied to these different um, connectors. So the, an overarching principle that we re really want to pay attention to is minimum braking strength, working load limit, and safety factors. Okay? So a really great way to demonstrate this, this concept is just thinking about when we, when we have a connector, and let's say we know that it's minimum braking strength, it's, it's, it's maximum load that it can take before failure, you know, as stated by the manufacturer, is 5,000 pounds. From that, we can apply a 5 to 1 safety factor, um, getting us a resultant working load limit of 1,000 pounds. So we're essentially taking and applying only a fifth of the load to the connector, as stated by the manufacturer. So that gives us a degree of safety, it gives us a, a buffer, so to speak, so we don't bring any of these components beyond their, their working load limit or their, their suggested working load limit by the manufacturer.